Uh, General, you, I've been listening to you in various places uh, round and about today talking about successes and failures. The levies are clearly the biggest success I can think of. On, on the failure side, I, I guess you could point to Entergy and I suppose you could point to AT&T and others. What, what's your assessment of things? Yeah, the infrastructure, the grid was basically broken by this uh, over 100 mile an hour winds that hit the metropolitan area of Orleans, Jefferson, uh, a parish along with uh, St. John Parish and some flooding in St. John. That being said, uh, we know Mother Nature can break anything built by man and it has a great way of breaking electrical grids and the uh, great the towers that bring the power into the city. While we re-engineered things when it came to levy systems after Katrina, uh, it goes to show we still got work to do on the grid mm. and how we manage power, how we get it in. And the other thing, Shep, is to go back and look and lessons learned, uh, the ability to evacuate people quickly. Uh, we weren't able to get the contraflow started based on the timing. And we're doing all this in the COVID environment because people won't take the damn shot and all the hospitals were full. So it's a, a man-made disaster on top of a natural disaster. And as far as AT&T, I was proud to speak to them some 10 years ago at the office in Atlanta, corporate. And I said, we need to have backup towers. You need to have towers that can go up and down. They came in and did a big sales job. They sold AT&T quick systems to all the police departments. They dominated the market. And each time we have a minor disaster, let alone Ida, the system go down. Uh, they need to have engineered towers that can come down during the power. That's engineerable, that can be done. They need to have backup towers in place when we see the hurricane coming. They continue to fail at that. They spend more time uh, giving their corporate profits than they're doing resiliency in their system. The importance of that is you've got a million people now with no power and many of them are AT&T customers, and some of the police networks that use AT&T can't answer their damn 911 calls. We've got to fix that, and the FCC and others need to see how we're going to make the grid more resilient, Chef. General, I've got 30 seconds. Were you in charge of rescue efforts right now? What would you be telling your troops? Keep working. Keep looking for people, because the number one job, Chef, is to save lives at this point in time. I'm worried about Grand Isle. Yes, sir. Uh, while most of the people did evacuate, getting to Grand Isle is hard. They had to go by air today, and then to get the right resources in there to go do the primary and the secondary search is going to be hard. They took a big hit as well as Homa. General Russell Honore, I hope they work as hard as you did. Appreciate your time, and it's always it's good to see you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.